here. This is Killer Kyle. And welcome to the It's main Matt and Killer Kyle here. We're going to talk about Elimination Chamber. I And it's, it's going to be a good show. Yeah. Really looking forward to, to seeing where that goes this year. Well, the Women's Elimination Chamber doesn't seem to be happening right now. So. Yeah, I don't think they're having a Women's Elimination Chamber match this year, which is odd. Considering the fact that they've had a women's elimination chamber match at least the last two years, they had one yeah. for the women's tag titles in the like when they first kind of reintroduced the women's tag titles, and Bailey and Sasha won, and then they had one for. It's the Raw Women's Championship, I think. Yeah. And that's it. Now, of course, they're going to have a Elimination Chamber match for the WWE and Universal Championship, which is fine. You would think they would also do a Women's one as well. Maybe they thought doing a Elimination Chamber match for the two main championships was enough. They didn't feel like they need a third. Needed a third, I guess. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. I don't know. Again, these stipulation pay-per-views don't seem to make sense. Never have. But it is what it is. And I have a few predictions for WrestleMania myself. Right. Because of well, we'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah. But... First match, let's talk about the United States Championship. Matt Riddle versus Bobby Lashley. And... I just don't know if it's time for Matt to get the title yet. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be a triple threat match with Matt, Matt Riddle, Bobby Lashley, and Keith Lee. Yeah. Whether or not Keith Lee will be able to participate on Sunday, we'll find out. But yeah, the whole thing is, okay, you say you're not sure if it's Riddle's time to have the championship, you could easily say the same thing for Keith Lee. Now, that's not to say both of them don't deserve to be, you know, let's say United States champion, because they do. Uh -huh. But with Keith Lee, you know, coming onto the excuse me, Monday Night Raw roster, having a match with Randy Orton, beating him, going into a series of other matches. And then having a bit of time off, and then having just came back on the scene. Yeah. I think Lee needs at least a little more time before getting a championship. Riddle. Riddle's been on the scene for a little while, and yeah, he's been in this rivalry with Lashley and the Hurt Business for quite some time. But it only seems to be that as far as like, okay, let's say a six-man tag match, 
Riddle and his team can get the win. But, you know, one on one with Lashley, it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. So, I mean. Well, I think that if Matt does win, if it's a possibility, then maybe have a one on one match with Keith Lee in the future. But as I see it right now, Bobby Lashley should still have the United States title. I don't think they'll ever put the WWE title or Universal title on him, but that's yeah. just me. So I think he'll still be United States champion. Yeah. So, and it's uh, a shame because a guy like Lashley, there's an abundance of opportunity for him to be, let's say, WWE champion. Why they don't want to put the title on him, I don't know. Yeah. This got the Women's Championship, the Raw Women's Championship, Oscar versus Lacey Evans. Can I just say, what the hell was that? Oh, I... Uh, no, man. I know. I mean... Like... I thought it's stupid, but... Like, I was just talking to my brother about this a while ago, and I said, Raw... It's just one of those shows where it's like, you can't just have all good things. There's got to be something that... Uh, I guess one thing to expose her flair, but... Now Lacey Evans is pregnant. Now maybe she is really pregnant in real life and she's just using it in storyline. I don't know. Like, right. If she wasn't pregnant, then she wouldn't be able to wrestle. Well, I had watched what happened on Raw on Monday and then did reading and they said that Lacey Evans is legitimately pregnant okay. by her husband, and they're just using this as a storyline, like continue the storyline with Lacey and Charlotte and Rick. Well, the thing is, uh. here is where I go back to what my gripe originally was in the first place. Yeah. You know, you have Lacey Evans come in the May Young Classic. I believe it was the first one. She does fairly well in that. And she ends up on NXT. She kills it on NXT, does very well for herself on NXT. She didn't win the NXT Women's Championship, but whatever. She ends up on Raw, and they immediately thrusted her into the Women's Title picture, which I felt, at that point, she wasn't ready for. She had only been in Raw, in the main, on the main roster for... About a month at that point, I think, maybe two, and they just immediately throw her in the title picture with Becky Lynch at the time. Yeah, and so that all happens, and then they seemed to be here and there, hit and miss, as far as what to do with her. You know, she was a heel, she was a face. She was aligned with Charlotte. She was feuding with Charlotte. She was, you know, back and forth, up and down, left, right, center. Didn't know which way to turn. And, you know, when she was in the Mae Young Classic and on NXT, she was, you know, call it the All-American Mom, the former Marine turned pro wrestler and all this other stuff. And then she got to the main roster they didn't know what to do with her. Yeah. It seemed like. Then they put her with Rick. It's like, okay, 
there's a lot of potential there. Red can take a lump of coal and turn it into a diamond. Yeah. We all know that. And it was last week. Rick ran. Rick went off on a rant, and was like, you know, Lacey Evans has so much potential, and you know, she is a future women's champion, or going could be a future champion, and you know, all this other stuff, which I completely agreed with what he said, and then they do this. Yeah, it's like okay. Lacey's pregnant. That's fine. Good for her. Congratulations. But to use it in a story and, you know, proclaim Rick as the father, so to speak. Okay. Let's get one thing straight. One, Rick wouldn't dare have intercourse with a woman, let's say mid thirties, let's call it. And another thing is Rex old enough to be Yeah. Lacey's daughter's grandfather for fuck's sakes. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. I don't get it myself. So I mean yeah, this is almost reminiscent of the awesome Kong thing. Where she came in a depth yeah. WWE and she almost had a good run, her first run, and then she mm-hmm. got pregnant. And yeah. then she unfortunately lost the baby, but she never came back. Yeah. So, so I don't know what's going to happen with this. I really don't. So we'll see who Oscar is going to challenge or take on. Now, I know Seth Rollins came back. Yes. When it be time for Becky to come back, I'm not quite sure, but the possibilities are endless. The possibility is there. I would see Becky coming back though in a few months. Yeah, like closer <laughs> to the summer. Yeah, no, I agree with that. With that all being said, though, yes. With Lacey being pregnant, that takes her out of the match against Asuka. And off of, well, I'm sure she'll have some involvement. Yeah. By the Elimination Chamber, but she won't be having the match. Which leads to, okay, who is Asuka going to face? Maybe Asuka throws out an open challenge to somebody. And we get, you know, a return of some kind or something. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Right now, that match is up in the air. Yeah. I can easily see Shayna Baszler go at it. Yeah, potentially. So, I mean, who knows? I mean, I would say Ronda Rousey, but she's probably too busy doing whatever she's doing. Yeah, she's she's probably busy doing her own thing. So... SmackDown Universal Championship match in a Elimination Chamber. We have Daniel Bryan, Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, King Corbin, and Sami Zayn. Oh, Sami Zayn, yeah. So, Roman Reigns. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, this should be interesting. I think that having the Universal title and a WWE title both in the Elimination Chamber match would be pretty cool. Yeah. Now, I mean, I don't know what to say about this one because it's up in the air with what's going on with Edge. So I do have a prediction with that. We'll get to that in a minute. There's a lot of potential here. I mean, I can easily see King Corbin go over because I mean he's been on top now for a year and a half yeah so they I mean it's due time for him Sami Zayn not a chance yeah that's just not there 
you know? Yeah. Jey Uso, no. So, I mean, it's, for me, it's going to be Roman Reigns or King Corbin. I have a feeling it'll be Jey Uso and Roman probably working together so that Roman keeps the title. Right. If, okay, let's say either Jay ends up in one of the pods or he's one of the guys that starts the match, they will do everything they can to eliminate Jay so that way Roman is a setting duck, basically. Yeah. So he could see maybe Roman lose the championship. Like you say, Sammy, no chance in hell. Corbin, him being on top for a year and a half, potentially. Cesaro, yeah, maybe. Things have been so hit and mess with him lately, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, actually, correction, not hit and miss. With him now going solo, and they split up Cesaro and Nakamura as a team, and essentially turned Nakamura face. Yeah. Cesaro needs more time as a singles competitor before he gets a title opportunity. Brian. Maybe, yeah. maybe. I mean, being on actually quite a good run since he's been back. Now him being in a, the, you know, okay, universal title picture. It's like there's a lot of potential there. Will he win? Maybe. Could he win for sure? Yeah, I and, think so. Owens, I mean, they've been carrying on this thing since Amber? Yeah, it, so I mean, like, well, you know, you've had a lot of one on one matches with Kevin and Roman that to have them both in the elimination chamber kind of defeats the purpose of them going one on one at WrestleMania. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that will happen. Yeah. But who knows? So. I'll say, though, the off chance that Roman gets eliminated in the match, it'll either be maybe Daniel Bryan, maybe Corbin, or Owens. Okay. Sounds good. There we have it on Elimination Chamber for the WWE title. You've got Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, and the newly member for the Elimination Chamber, Kofi Kingston. Yeah. So, I mean, the thing is, Mez was supposed to be in. Mez is already money in the bank. So, it doesn't make any sense for him to be in the show. So, I mean, it's, it's a good thing they had this match. Kofi gets a second, another chance, not a second chance. Because he's already been WWE champion. Yeah. So, my thing is, okay, so Edge has gone to all three brands. Yeah. And saying, you know, I could do the Universal Championship, I could do the WWE Championship, I could do the NXT Championship. Yeah. So let's say, because you have Randy Orton in the Elimination Chamber, you have Randy Orton come out as the WWE Champion, only to have Edge and Randy Orton at WrestleMania, because that means... 
that they faced each other last year. This year, this actually means something. And Edge can go on top and finish his career, so to speak, as the WWE champion. So, Potentially, yes. So, because I don't see Kofi Kingston go over. Is Sheamus and Drew, well, that would be a good match. But again, it's just like Owens and Reigns, I don't see that happening. Yeah. Hardy, no. AJ Styles, no. no. Because AJ Styles has already had the title. And I don't know who he would face, but I don't know. I mean, I definitely see Randy Orton Edge at WrestleMania. I think that's what a lot of people have been wanting, let's say. The thing is, say the match that Edge and Orton had last week or a couple weeks ago, that being the last match in that rivalry, do you give Orton the title, have that lead into WrestleMania, have Edge take the title from Orton, and that be the ultimate and definitive conclusion to the rivalry? It would make sense. However, I feel like that rivalry more than likely has concluded, and they're moving on. With that being said, the only real other potential champion they could have is Sheamus. The thing is, I don't think that makes much sense. With what has been going on with Sheamus lately, like, yeah, he's had matches and great, you know, really good matches against, you know, several people, but there hasn't really been anything that stands out and go, oh, yeah, Seamus can easily be WWE champion again. And so, if you don't go with Orton and you don't go Seamus, you could easily still go with McIntyre, and I'm sure a match with McIntyre and Edge would be great. So, sure. However, getting yeah, now, let's say Roman Reigns takes the title. I could see Edge versus Roman as well. Spear versus Spear. And see, that's the thing. Yeah. With. Heading into okay, with Edge initially winning the Rumble, I'm sure a lot of people were like, Oh man, Edge versus McIntyre, or Edge versus Roman, you know, both really good caliber matches, you know, Spear versus Spear, Spear versus Claymore. You know, I think they just threw in Balor just for the hell of it, basically. I don't yeah. see that going anywhere. So, yeah, Spare versus Kudabra. Yeah, exactly. But Heading into Elimination Chamber, it'll be interesting to see if they, you know, stay the course, so to speak, have McIntyre and Roman keep their titles, and then, you know, Ed, when it comes time for Edge to make his decision, you know, who will he choose? <laughs> title of the table or the mayor of Claremore country you know? and what championship right. does he really want to go after the WWE championship or the universal championship yeah no, I agree with that so anyways that's elimination chamber and I don't know how it's going to happen I we said that in the last video. I'm assuming that pretty soon 
Killer Kyle and myself will be back in action in regular surroundings. But yeah. we'll see how this goes. And next pay per view will be Revolution, I believe. Yes. With AEW. And so look forward to that. Yeah. And then WrestleMania season. So we will talk to you later. Deuces.